and welcome back to the National Bowling Centre here, Northfield, sunny South Ayrshire. My name is Paul Fisher and I'm joined for this evening's quarter final gents singles game by Mike Many. Mike, how are you getting on? Fine, thanks. It's been an enjoyable week. The weather's been a bit mixed but the sun's beating down in Northfield today. I think the wind's gone up a wee bit so it's kind of affecting the run of the bowls a bit but uh, overall it's been an enjoyable day. I'm getting, getting towards the business end as they say of the majority of the competitions. Um, we've got the, the gent singles here, quarter final line up. Uh, we've got Scott Spears, 25 year old from Blacklands Home Club in North Ayrshire, and he's taking on Derek Oliver from Kirkenzie in Port Seaton in East Lothian. Do you know much about either player? And, and what do you think no, I haven't come across um, Scott especially. Um, I know Derek's got a bit of history, but Scott's all fairly new to the the ear scene, isn't he? Won an awful lot in his career, but. Uh, I'm sure he'll battle hard today. It'll be an interesting matchup. Both players have difficult games to come through. And Derek, quite strangely, has played his last two games. He's played two boys from Ayrshire, one from the south and one from the east, and now he's playing the last man standing from the north. So he's going for the hat trick, but I'm sure Scott, he's, he's playing some good bowls. Um, and he'll be looking to, to capitalise and, and get the start that he's been getting. As you say, Derek, seasoned internationalist. And, He'll be fancy his chances of going all the way, you think. The flag showing you there that the, the wind's still still quite strong at Northfield, but I'm sure the guys will adapt quite quickly once the, the trial ends are over. The players just warming up as as Mike says, two trial ends, start of each and every game. They're coming onto different greens, onto different rinks. So be different line, different pace. And it'll be um, it's hard, to, it's hard to tell, <laughs> you see with the balls, both players are playing with similar coloured balls, so keep try our best to make sure we keep, you know, who's lying shots and we'll try and bring you up to date with some of the other scores around the, the various teams here at the complex, a lot of quarter-final games on the go. Still very busy here, coming up towards six o'clock. last of the, the sessions on the Saturday. Obviously, Mike, you've been here all week, a long week. Uh, it's, uh, you try to cover a lot of your players in the own district and try and keep the, the people back home up to date with the scores, but it's a lot of running around. Uh, obviously, with the, the umpires marking off the middle of the greens, you've got to go around about, so it's a bit of, a bit of work on the old uh, legs to get around them all, but See there, players shaking hand, walking up towards the far end of the green to, to get the game underway. Crowd's still quite busy today, it's the sun's been kind to us. A lot of games still on the go throughout the various greens, so people will be watching their individual players, they'll be knowing who they're, they're supporting. And it's Scott to get us underway. Scott with the, the white and the purple blue and Derek with the, the blue sleeves and the, the yellow trim. Should be a, a fascinating match up this one. I know, I know Scott personally quite well. He used to be a member of my club down at Adrossen and he's he's been playing bowls for the majority of his, his life. Started with his papa, coached him at the Blacklands and, and moved across to Adrossen but he's now back at the Blacklands. Managed to win the club championship for the first time last year and he's all the way through to the, the quarter final so and a very good run. He's playing some very steady balls. I think it'll be down to um, who settles down the quickest and uh, adapts to the... The greens are certainly getting quicker as the weeks go on. The last couple of dry days has uh, helped the pace of greens. And as we've seen from, from this rink. Another... It's a good opener. Opening from shot from Derek. The rink there. The players seem to be playing this forehand down with the backhand for the left-handed guys. And it seems to give off quite a swing. They seem to be catching it well. So just settling in with a couple of holes, one a couple of yards through. Derek looking to capitalise, see if he can get one right close to the jack, put some pressure on. Always difficult in the first end, especially the cameras on you. Pressure of the quarter-final of a national competition. 
just sneaked in for two, but it's nothing to nothing to scare Scott just with just yet. Just need to get a line and pace sorted out, and he'll be. It's looking good here. Yep. Yeah, very good adjustment from Scott. He's quite animated on the green. He likes to to chase his balls. Likes to shout about Derek. He's a very experienced player. Knows how to win a game. Never easy at this stage. It's very close there, just to fall back on itself. Should be the shot if it falls down. Can't quite see from the yep. Can't quite see from the, the shadows there, but and uh, because of the way the sun's going, it's near impossible to see the umpire's uh, lollipop. Looks like from that angle we've got there, there's one red. See the the balls are very similar. If you can see the stickers there. Red stickers of Derek Oliver. Scott Spears with the blue balls and blue stickers. Look at this stage in the competition with this weather. The way the greens are playing, you're looking for a high quality matchup. Scott will just have to try and follow Derek down here and try and rest his ball at the back or, or turn his front one just down one. It looks decent. Just slipping under, I think. Oh, he just got enough of it, yep. Great try. Very, very close. May well have been enough to turn it in, but. Yep. Empire signals. Sure, Derek will just look to turn the line shot onto the jack to, to lie one behind it. But Keep his space to minimum unless he has a wee run at it. And still the kick to to have a wee bit of run, but I think it's maybe just over the weight. Yep, decent start from both players. Comfortable. Once they get the first couple of balls out, Scott picking up the, the first shot, take a one nothing lead. You hear a bit of noise and excitement as he has a number of games, what a finals on the go. Based international players playing throughout the, the complex. Some the competitions are already in the semi final stage. Very experienced players showing their worth here at the National Centre for Bowling. Same out, outdoor bowls it's sometimes it's on the day who produces the bowls when it matters, you know, Derek's played international, skipping indoor and stuff like that for a number of years, but... Yeah, it's a decent open, opening salvo from uh, Scott there, it's about throwing up a food shot. And just running past by three feet or so. Yeah, there's just some, some live scoring coming through last year's beaten finalist in the the gents under 25 singles, Paul Kane from Brock, he lost 21-7, and he's a player from Annan, who's having a great run, he beat John Fleming Jr. in the first round, and then Marco Hagen, and now the scalp of Paul Kane, the internationalists, falling by the wayside, he was the same, he was 15 years old, managed to pick up the SYBA triples title on Monday, so very, very good week so far for him. Scott chasing after his balls. Likes to be animated. Good. Better line, better weight, and just coming down nicely. Very Still sitting jack high, though. Very settled start from someone with a lack of experience at this level. You see, he is playing very good balls. Good weight this time, just to get in for the second ball. Great reply from Derek. He won't be phased by. The occasion he's, he's played on big stage many a time. <laughs> Derek will just look to rest his own ball for a two on similar a similar line to last time. I think he looks like he's pushed it a touch higher. 
is a big swing in that hand mm-hmm. that does come down there, but maybe lacking two or three feet of weight to, to bend to Derek's bow, but it's got holding on to one. Derek just be looking for a similar bow just to try and rest Scott, so chap his own in to fall backwards. Possibly, possibly in for second at last roll, but as I say, it's very difficult with the shadows to tell. Just to Derek, didn't he kick? Seems like it could be two. He's got to be very happy with the start, getting on the scorecard, settling into his own jack length, and his 3 0 lead. This stage of the game, Mike, obviously very early doors. What can the players be thinking? What's the for Derek especially now? He's lost the first couple of ends. I think Derek well. won't be too fast the way it's going at the moment. His uh, first end wasn't too bad, but I think Scott will certainly get the more uh, encouragement from the early start. It's always good to go three, four shots up rather than the, the other way around. Uh, start chasing games early on. Yeah, of Scott, uh, I'm sure they'll probably draw away and just settle down nicely. Scott, of course, the same uh, club as young Blair Davidson, who picked up the SYBA junior singles title for the second year in a row earlier on in the week. Uh, mm-hmm. that confidence shown again with Scott, the just ideal opening ball. It seems to be when your balls are playing well, you, you can just draw these shots with, with little to no effort. Seeing both players starting off really well. Yeah. Yeah. Sticking to this hand seems to give quite a good draw. Scott. Just drawing up short, but with a foot, it was a perfect line again. We'll just give a, a wee guide to uh, Derek to slip past here for a second if we can get a replicate the first ball. It's just over the weight a wee bit, so certainly not wasted. Half past five on a Saturday, and the place is still very busy. Popular weekend. The, the live stream as well, just get some messages through from some of Scott's former teammates of the Ayrshire Under 25 team. Wish them all the very best. Good to see the boys watching. They can't make it down. Hoping Scott can do the business. Probably a sensible decision from Derek to kind of take a walk up, mm-hmm. take a bit of time, have a look at the head and assess his options. Scott's certainly uh, caught, in, caught on to the speed of the green very quickly and he's uh, dropping some tidy balls in around the jack, even though he's just one down. <laughs> Sure, there's an awful lot you could try and do here anyway, apart from maybe just block uh, Scott's path off a bit. But I'm not sure if that was quite the what he had in mind. I wonder if we'll see a change of hand here from Scott. He has a ball behind. And Derek's last ball might just catch his eye. He's playing time, turn the jack over once and punch it through. He's been playing the forehand well, so maybe stick away. Just, he's only one down. Forehand shot. He's looking to draw just to turn his own to promote it. He's 
pulled it down this mm -hmm. time. Take the weight. The shot he was playing, I think his weight was pretty good. Just missed the line. Don't think uh, Derek will be too adventurous with this one. I think he'll be quite happy to get on the card and move in the right direction. For Derek, he's getting on the scorecard here, all going well. Does he, does he change the mark length or both players are catching him well? Does he try and... I don't think uh, Derek will be too unhappy with the start either, but just uh, I think Scott's gone in first before him and first two previous ends, but I think he'll probably just keep a length at the moment before he starts getting too... Yeah, didn't think he would be getting too adventurous there, but so it's uh, Derek on the board with a 3-1 deficit. Yeah, just joining us, we are live here at National Bowling Centre in Northfield and South Ayrshire. This gents singles quarter final match up between Scott Spears from Blacklands and Derek Oliver from Kirkenzie and Port Seaton. If you want to get involved with the coverage and live stream, you can use hashtag on social media, hashtag Northfield2016. If there's any messages of support for the players or any players that are playing here in the semi finals, quarter finals across the greens, and try and read some out later on. This game just getting into the, the swing of things. Scott currently leading 3 1. Decent opening ball from, from Derek there, mate. Yeah, I didn't think Derek would change the length too much, and I think Scott will just look to creep in front of him and try and keep the, keep the momentum going. I think that's just exactly what he's done. So. Derek looks like he's just under the weight and under the line again, just uh, dropping two, three feet short. Seems to be the, this hand and going back up towards the stand. Is, if you miss your line, you get pulled tight it's throughout the day. Players have been punished for just missing the line. Scott also, but I think it's more the weight is keeping him back, so maybe just the, the possibilities of something change the length of the jack there, we'll have to notice. But. Looks more like it from Derek. Just coming under the jack. The boulder. Scott's uh, after this one. I think he's going to just push it, yeah. Derek will be looking to put another one in. Wasting any time, certainly. Just getting on with it. Down you go, yep. Yeah. Good. Looks very, very good. I wonder if we'll see the first morning bowl of the, of the afternoon here. Scott is quite an aggressive player, doesn't doesn't waste any time when it comes to hitting. I think there's a danger of his plant, of his own bowl going side of the head. I'm not sure if it's missing the ball that Scott's uh, Derek's just through. So that uh, shot might not be on. I think he might just try and draw away and drop inside again for the line shot. Keeping a sensible head on, staging again. It's very, very close to yeah, Scott. Yeah, he's just, but as I say, a good second, tidies the end up. Doesn't want to be losing nothing daft at this stage. Very tight start to the game. Both players doing some very, very good balls. Scott just with the advantage, 3 2. Difficult angle to judge what the length of Jack is, but it looks similar to the first two ends going this way. but Maybe slightly longer. Again, opening delivery from Derek. Yeah, just Derek under the good ball. Both 
players very confident in their drawn game at the moment. Scott just dropping short this time. It's doesn't want to be giving Derek too many easy chances to pop a second at this stage. Not bad again from Derek, just pull up slightly short. Must be a good line, Scott. Here, just slightly over the way. Just gotten a little bit scrappy in this end. I think a good ball from Derek here will put him under a good bit of pressure with the third one. Just again, just all slipping inside the the jack, just need quite enough grass. The first real tester for Scott. Three down, but not three. The greatest shots you'll ever see. And likewise, this is another. Five, six feet short the jackets. The poor end from Scott so far. Some unnecessary pressure on himself. Derek the chance to, to draw up for a four. Scott will come a one ball left in the head. Still slipping in. I think he's going to. No, he's just slipped in the head, but Scott should be able to take a bit of grass here and manage to drop in past the, the last ball of Scott, uh, Derek's. Big ball early on for Scott. Doesn't want to be losing a full house. Just to drift round. Five or six feet on his last ball. Not sure, but he's after it, so it's certainly in a better line going by his body. body. He likes oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's uh, still running on a wee bit there, but maybe just two cut down by half, possibly. I'm not quite sure if the third one's in, but certainly the two, I think. Yep. Well, I think maybe three was conceded because there was no umpire or no measure. And, uh, yep, three shots. Three there, yep. yep. Scott looked in a good line, good weight there, but the ball just seemed to run, drift past. But Derek moves into the lead for the first time. Still very, very early doors, of course, first to 21 in all these championship matches. Players have played a lot of games to get to this stage and don't want to be going out quarter-finals, want to be trying to push on for the semi and the final. Of course, you need to... Most of these players have won the club championships and then mm. it's through the districts a lot of games, or some 12, 13 games for some of these guys even to get here. It shows how the level of consistency that's needed and the quality, as you can see from the game so far. Decent start from both players. I think it's important Scott gets uh, gets in front of Derek and not give him all his own way this next couple of ends, but he just seems to have lost his weight for a, a ball or two. Settling in again. Slip by that slightly better, just about the shot this time. News coming through from Green Sea that um, my own district three uh, pairs from Tarvis have crept into a 14 12 uh, lead with four ends to go. Um, they're hoping to follow West Hills into the semi finals of the tournaments there in the pairs and West Hill fours, obviously. Going a little bit further than last year, they were in the quarter-finals last year when they went out to Paul Foster's rink, but they're going one better so far this year, so the district's looking good so far. Seeing obviously Scott from my district and already had success earlier on in the week with the veteran Georgia Drain picking up the senior singles title for Red Bowling Club. Comprehensive 21-6 victory in the final. 
and Sarah Kennedy from my own club at Rossum. Fantastic 21-16 win in the quarter-finals. Derek just didn't need that wee clip of the front ball, but we were still just one against him. A better end from Scott here is what he, exactly what he needed after losing the, the three shots yeah, to get in. Put a wee bit of pressure on Derek. Possibly Scott will look to drop down the same alley, but it's all about finding the right weight, and he's not bad, but he has to hurry a wee bit now. Stop pulling up short. takes place, other scores filtering through, Paul Foster and he's trying to pull triple, 13-4 up with four ends to play against East Lothian Court. Don't think I'll mention uh, much about the measuring, Paul. Um, <laughs> this time last year, my first salvo in the, the commentary booth, I was being so kind to the umpire when the Jack went uh, shooting away to the left and Made me look a bit silly, so I think we'll just stay away for this this time. But I think this time it looks like Derek is getting the measure for the. Yeah, I think you could afford to move the jack a few inches this time and still been uh, <laughs> mean two. I won there. So just a one shot this time to, to Scott and five four. Very tight. Very good start to this game. It's what you expect at this stage. I don't think you expect many people to to come into a game and, and run away, steam away with a. Four or five shot lead. Both players playing well, obviously throughout this week so far. So good to see the, the quality staying. Nice st steady scout from Scott. I'm sure he'll be happy to have settled into the game, but he just needs to get a wee bit tight on that jack to put a little bit of pressure under Derek here. But he's getting all his own way. Well, that's an opening lead ball. I'll be happy with that. Great reply from Derek once again. Slightly unfortunate just to nudge a jack in the way past. First couple of balls from each player. The majority of the ends has been pretty solid. Just as I say that, Scott <laughs> pulls up shot. Yeah, that's a good, uh, good three feet. By Derek's body language, I think he's maybe just pushed it with the weight, but we'll see what's. Yep, just push a little bit. Still a good position for collecting the jack. Should he adjust his line? It's got one, but he won't want to finish up short with this end. This ball. Want to be coming through to, to Derek, one of Derek's balls at the back, or trying to slip past the jack. Kept a hold of it. Still, maybe just a one though, just nudge the white uh, back towards Derek. But Slightly higher line from Derek, I wonder if he's enough to bend down. Just for cooked away again. Mm. A chance here for Scott. He can rest on that ball and come behind the white. He doesn't want to leave a, a catch of any sort here. He doesn't want to leave a ball short of Jack Hyatt for certain or even rest his own ball. Not allowing Derek to pick a two balls out, so he doesn't want to be setting anything up for him. Be cautious here, I think it's in a game of this standard it's it's not you don't want to be leaving anything, any chances whatsoever, if you can if you can help it. Oh, well, 
Okay, that's where it's landed. I didn't quite see what was happening there, but. Uh, Derek, uh, a couple of he may here. well be three down, so taking his back ball away wouldn't it be the worst result. But having a three, three at the back there is maybe he wants to attack this, but there is a chance of picking his own ball. But it wouldn't make any difference to the to the position of the head if there is three. But the markers um, signalling for one and possibly a measure for mm -hmm. two or three. So Derek will made up his own mind of how many shots it is, and now make his mind up for the shot he's going to play. Looking to drop in again, I think. It's looking better this time. Everything's better, but he's still running past through, I think. Yep. It's a great effort from Derek Park. You see, just running past through it. He's got, definitely got a one. I think the, the umpire will be called again just to clarify it, but. I know the boys are happy with that. Once they take the shot ball out, it made it a wee bit easier to see in second, but Derek picks it up. And Scott takes one for 5-5. Five, five. See, Mr. William Wood watching intently. Fairly wee slow the ball, Derek Oliver. See, quite the, quite the CV that Derek is picked up over the <laughs> 20 odd years of playing. Scottish pairs, British Isles pairs indoor. Jamie Higgins playing skip for a national team it's no mean feat you know, by anyone's estimations and six years as an international player outdoor. It speaks for itself, thank you. Yeah, steady campaigner. I think he missed out this season but I don't think it was by uh, selector's choice. I think he chose that himself, I think, but I'm not entirely sure of that. Are still playing the, the bowls that are good enough to be featured in these competitions and quarter finals national. Just to pick it up clean now, just to, he was up in the pace there by a couple of yards, but he was uh, up. Yeah, again, it's just all the bowls being played down to one side of the green again. There's no, they must have worked out very quickly. Seems to have been that way. For the majority of the day, mm -hmm. Scott's just nudged his own pass now. Decent for the offset of the jack, it's a decent end up. Derek sticks to that hand again. Mr. Hurry. That's probably the ball, his first ball's fault. He was just trying to compensate and just overcompensate by losing a, a yard too many. Change his hand. Well, we'll see what happens on this hand now. Then well, that's why they haven't been uh, playing that side. <laughs> Derek will look to learn from that high line that Scott played. Draw down, but he's got the weight to, to bend. Just, just over. Again, just a bit overcooked with the weight, but possible second shot. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe the. Ran through a good yard there, the front ball might still be in for a second, but... One ball left from each, each player, I think. So, Scott will be looking <coughs> just to draw down. That's got his eye there. Just relax, take his time. Make sure he gets the right weight. a lot of movement over around the greens uh, this week as I guess how busy it is, people move about to see different games, finish at different times. And can be off-putting for the players at times. A better effort here from Scott. Ah, uh, he's on the button this time. Well done. Just to finish behind it, the, the touch of it, maybe making it a guarantee of three.
So that was an aggressive this time. Three, if it's still on, I think it's obviously is still on the green. But Great result. It's got a second super three. hit. It's a six shot swing. Yeah, it was an aggressive play and it paid off well. Shows you the, the kind of shots that Derek has in his, in his locker. He just turn his hand to that, get the, the results. It was fortunate to be fair, but the way it sprang across, getting three shots with Scott was lying three will be. Be very happy and hopefully can push on from there. We hope. Derek's weight was a bit mixed in that uh, end, so he'll be looking to settle down to just drop the beer jack again and try and keep the pressure on Scott. He's coming the distance, but just a like most balls in that hand seem to have glided inside the white. I don't think he'd be too disappointed with the way that's finished mm -hmm. after his last drive. Quite happy to get within a couple of feet. And obviously he's, he's lengthened the jack up slightly, so we're hoping it catches Scott out, but it's a good reply. Just pulling up maybe two or three feet short. Again, good weight, just the hand was holding a wee bit for the line he was on. A wee twitch of the head from Scott there might just be under the under the line, I think. Just needs to pass his own. Oh. Almost creeping in, but still we want the, to Derek and the first ball he threw. messing about from either player, both very confident in the, the way that they're playing. And time being wasted, but I think it could be unfortunate here. Yeah, well, it's not, it's not what you wanted. It's one in a measure for Scott currently lying, so looking to capitalise on that error. And he's marching up the green for a bit of purpose. His weight's good, he's, he's Great effort here, if he can turn his own, that'll probably make it too. Well, going by the last end, I think, uh, I think Derek will be hanging about here. This will be up through them. There is a gap there, he could possibly bend the white, but I think he'll be looking to have a wee clear out. If they can get the right connection, there is the option of the three balls going straight out the head. This ball staying there, but difficult shot to play, especially off the swinging hand. Let's see, he goes. I think he's tight. No much. Ooh. Gets That's a result. a result and a half. Line two. That's been some turn rounds he's had in this last uh, last five minutes or so, and leaving Scott with a tricky sh draw to the to the edge of the green. Not sure how close you can get the green without rolling rolling off the cusp of the the green. I've seen a couple of times today that there's just overcooking it and coming and rolling into to the, the ditch. Scott will just be looking to slip past the shot ball and no more. It looks heavy. And he's needs to stop. Needs to stop there, that's uh no, Look at that. that's absolutely that's, cool. That's exactly what I just called and again, how close you could get to it. And I've seen it happen so many times, and that was not really not his fault. There's nothing he could do there, but that was uh, criminal. On many greens across the country, Scott would have been playing very well there, and he would have been looking on for the shot. You see, just rolls and just catches the ditch. Criminal, absolutely yeah. criminal. Derek picks up a, I think it was a pair, to move into a lead of 10-5. I think Scott would be quite uh, disappointed there with the 
the way the ball fell off there. I hope it doesn't just affect them too much in the next couple of ends, just to put it out of mind now and it's gone, but he'll be a bit disappointed. Because he did everything right there, his weight was bang on. And uh, Derek's looking to rub it right in with his uh, first, first lead ball. Couple of balls in this end. We'll bring you up to date with the scores and the other gents' singles matches and quarterfinals. Mount Vernon currently leading Collington nine, nine shots to six. Holdsworth currently seven four up against Douglas Victoria, and Marchwood uh, six five up against Crimmon. Marchwood obviously game we seen earlier on uh, come back from 20-11 down to, to win 21-20. And up, uh, yeah, getting just the right connection. <laughs> just needed to slip past there, but it was again great weight. Tricky shot here for Scott coming up, I think. Two balls of Derek sitting just a bit of foot short. Just needs to slip either one of them. Currently lying one. See, it's way the line. A bit tense for that. Distance, I don't know if I think the way Derek's been playing, we're looking to, to run his ball here, I would think, but I don't think it's hanging about. She called it spot on. Well, he's good. close to the bear white again, so oh yeah. And he's. Uh, Three massive results with the, the Bay of White. I think Scott's last ball and the last end will be playing on his mind here. Knowing what happened, the way it just dropped into the ditch. He'll just be drawn up, hopefully, if he can get close to it. And uh, Scott just doing exactly what you said, but tentative for running off the back of the ditch last time, come up a good eight feet shot. So that now goes to 10 5. I think we give Def Derek a benefit of doubt of a, an extra shot there, but correct score is now 10 5 to, to Derek Oliver. And just as, as Derek delivers a jack, some update from, from the ladies' singles games. To the second two of the quarter finals, it's an all Ayrshire affair with Air Seafield currently down 6 2 to Cumnock, and in the other game, it's Colton 5 4 up against Motherwell Miners. You know, Gents Pears very close still for your district, Mike 15 14 after yeah, 15 Connor, ends. Condor and Michael push them all the way, I think it's going to go to the last game, went to the extra end, and although they were 7 up with two, 2 to play and lost a 4 and a 3, I don't think they're. Make that mistake again today, hopefully. Connor, of course, the captain of the Scottish Under-25 team, mm -hmm. playing the series in Elgin later in the year. Very, very experienced player. Good adjustment here from Derek. Yeah, I think he's going to run right up to it, but just dead weight again. Difference so far, seems to be the running balls of Derek. Scott playing well with the draw and line the shots, but Derek's turning the heads and getting the results that he needs. Just going to run past in the wide, I think. Yep. Again, he's just sort of unsettled himself with his weight, but and Derek adjusting well after his two, two or three running shots. He's just again running past him to a bit there, it just pulls the ball into them. Good enough for two, didn't quite see what the umpire did there, but... It's a big bend from the Scott. Something looks wrong though. Yeah. 
call a loose end in the first three. Yeah. There's still two against Scott and at this stage he doesn't want to be going too far down behind Derek here and Derek's looking pretty good for a beer fight, yep. That just ties it up nicely. Very, very good fourth goal from, from Derek Oliver. Tucks that away nicely and I think Scott's be some somewhat damage limitations now. Yeah, I think they'll just keep his hand though and just sort of drift into the back bowl that uh, yeah. Derek just threw and rest it and fall in. Could well look for a shot or maybe at least at very best worst get the second, but it's just a bit there it seems to be running through and hopefully it doesn't catch the the same yard heavy. Again, doesn't this look we'll get this bit now, so we should run on a wee bit, but not enough, is it? No. A fair effort from Scott. Mm -hmm. Could still be three down and doesn't really want to go 13 5 down at this stage. Two already out. And I go, it looks like three. Yep. Three again. To watch this game, doesn't it? Slip away from it. It's, it's went from 5 5 in Scott line three. Very good shots to. Three, hit, three very good hits from Derek and a loose end there from Scott to, to go from 5-5 to 13-5 both in a, a blink of an eye even Mick Derek will be more than happy the way the, the game's going but Scott's still only plug away 13-5 not, not unassailable Derek will look to turn the screw Again, he's in good line, but I'm just not sure if he's dropping a yard down yet. He wouldn't be too pleased with his opening ball there, giving uh, Scott a bit of room to step one in, but not taking advantage. Derek looks to have adjusted everything, just needs to run on from there, but yep, yeah, it's enough to keep the pressure on Scott. Very good adjustment again, he seems to, to adjust well, whether he's heavy or whether he's short. Derek really turning the screw now and that's two crackers. Um, Scott's going to have to change his hand and find some sort of line down the forehand but I'm not sure how easy it is to play this hand. Yeah. Pressure's beginning to tell on, on Scott. He's got to find some answers here. Three and not an awful lot to hit. He's got three back balls, but I don't think he can afford to come running at this. It's been his mind he's got the back balls, but doesn't he want to lose another three? Can't quite tell if he's pushed this or not. I think he's maybe just high and wide, and yep. And he'll be disappointed with that end by sure. Another three easy shots for Derek there. This speed, I'll be heading out to see the end of the Tarvis uh, Pears match at this speed. But yeah. as we've seen today already, the games can go all the way. In the game between Port Glasgow and Marchmont earlier on, it was 2011 to Port Glasgow. It looked as if all going well. Lost 11 shots without reply. And it's never over until it's over, but the way this game's going so far. Say Derek Oliver has been getting the results, especially that very, very unfortunate ball of Scots when it just dropped into the ditch. It was it's one of the ones you remember if you lose a game, but you look back on and laugh if you if you go on to win. Derek certainly looks like the the confident one of the two. 
Obviously, the school end dictates, but Scott's maybe just failing to capitalise on Derek's loose balls occasionally. And that does mean many of them. Yeah, he's better down this time. Well done. Very good reply from Scott. And this will be one of the last games on across the well, there's some other games starting at half past five. Game it's just going to slip past that. Half past four, some games started that as well. And obviously back tomorrow morning for semi finals. Finals from half nine. Sunday's always promises to a lot of top quality action. Scott comes in here just like that. Yeah, it's good to see. Two crackers this time, that's what he wants. Just about near enough to. Rekindle some confidence in him. Derek's chasing this one. Still just dropping under, but that's just the way the, the hand seems to work, but it's a good position. Slight adjustment. He's got to be looking to put some sort of pressure on here. Do I thought that one? Oh, no, he doesn't like that one. He's uh, done his back. Dropped it short. Mm -hmm. He'd be disappointed there because his line was very good again. Still lying up here. As if you'll see this Derek Oliver running ball once again. Yes, they play at the back again, so it wouldn't surprise me. It looks a bit pacey. Tell by his body language again, and he seems to be walking a bit quicker after it, but does look a little bit high. Yep. I think if I was Scott, I would be changing my hand here just to be on the safe side. He doesn't want to drop onto his line shot by any sort of overweight, but he's running after it, so it looks promising. Just needs to run he doesn't want to be doing too much there. Yeah, well, I didn't. Dangerous shot. I almost that. called it, but it was just uh, the other hand was the, the safer option, but he still came out with two. Two shots to Scott Spears and scores now 16-7. Whoever comes out victorious in this match, the featured match of the afternoon, will play the winner of Mount Vernon, it's Graham McDougall. He's currently 11-7 up. He's playing against David Fisher. No relation of mine from, from Collington. Yeah, interesting match-up. Games seem to be close across the green. So, better start. Scott just a foot or so behind. Derek just a bit over excited there. Runs about a yard and a half past. I think uh, word coming in at uh, Tarvis Pair of Michael and Connor are now two up playing the last end in the quarter final, so everything across the win there, Mike. Looking good uh, from from our position, but we're not anywhere near the rink, so <laughs> maybe slightly different where where Connor standing. Good adjustment here from Derek. Just about gets the first shot, I think. Scott just stopped the raw of losing a four or five ends in a row and managed to pick up a two. We're looking to score again and keep this this jack leg that seems to be playing alright to decent effort there from Scott. Broken pass, but it might be enough for the shot. And Powell's not committing himself to well he is to one red, yep. Good line this time. Just gonna run fast. Uh, difficult shot here for Scott. Knows if 
gets caught and Derek's ball and turns it in. He's still going to be one down, but beforehand, both players have been avoiding it. Whether the player or not, whether he changes it or not, remains to be seen. I think he's stick to the backhand. Slightly more weight, I think. Try and turn Derek's ball out. High and mighty. There's a wee message coming in from uh, Scott Johnson up in Ellen. He is obviously listening in today, watching the pictures live. He's just started bowling this year. He, he tries to say he's more of a golfer than a bowler, but I'm not sure he's either, to be honest. But Good to see him tuning in and watching He's it. certainly quite good at selling Santa Arabs anyway, I know that. So. Welcome, Scott. Derek looking to, to add to the one he currently lies and to move within what we say is one end of victory. Just needs to run the last. Oh, he's just pulled up shot. Be disappointed with that if he pulled up second shot out of the bag there, he would have been able to in three for the game. He moves on to 17 7 for Derek Oliver. What does Scott need to do now, Mike? What's the well, he needs to get hold of that Jack and for a start, but obviously he has to win the next, next end to give him any chance. Need to move, maybe the mat up the green a bit and see if he can just put Derek off his stride. But at the moment it's just knock for knock and coming out second best. Derek's obviously got a, a nice weapon of the the running shot that's been very kind to him this afternoon. But he's uh, opening up perfect this time, but it's not going to help Scott's uh, thinking at all. Quite a, quite a kick, quick game this one. Only, it's only good to see. Uh, it's good to see the, the players not hanging about. to Saturday night, of course, but uh, <laughs> great reply from but Scott. Just if he falls over, maybe looking on for the shot, but be happy with that at this stage. He's good again, he's down here. He's pretty good for the jack. He's just gotten wedged in, so. I think Scott will be scratching his head slightly, wondering what he needs to do. And he's slapping his leg, doesn't like it. It's over the pace. Away to the ditch. How's your chart, you? Confident looking Derek Oliver walking up the green. He's in the ascendancy. 5-5, five, five. he's now 17-7. See a couple of fortunate results, but he has been in and about the area. Currently holding on to one. Looking to play this wide swing and draw. And count for another one. Just looking to Make sure he's got the distance right. No, it's a bit it's tenth of his beans, I mean drawing up short many times today. Don't really know what Scott has at the moment in terms of a shot, if it's a draw. Mm -hmm. it's just it's too, just too. as they watch it, doesn't it? Poke his own ball through the through the middle of the head there. The way, the way it's sitting, if he plays it off the forehand, it can maybe lock in and punch the shot ball of Derek's away. We'll see how he plays it. Gives himself an option. Ball behind it now. Well, we've got to be a stage of the match where he's got to try things different and maybe attack a bit more. I think he's been a bit tentative for the last half hour or so. And Derek will still keep the same line just to find another yard of running and drop another in for a second. Very difficult shot to play, but calibre player Derek is. He'll be confident in his 
ability to draw this one. Yeah, he's Chase. after it, yep. so he must be a good sign. But is he running far enough? I'm not so sure. Could make Scott's mind up for him. Scott really needs to attack this in the in the backhand and hope to either take the two balls and leave the middle one line. At very worst, the black the back one at the. But he's only the only back one he's got will still be lying the shot if the three balls disappear. So he's got options. I think drawing is certainly not one of them. Taking his time assessing this head, especially as we glance at the scoreboard there. Knows he's ten shots down. No aesthetics within four of semi final berth, but he's been playing well this week and he knows what he can do. And see if he can get into the area, hopefully get a, a good result of the results that Derek has been getting so far in this game. Whether he plays it off the back of the forehand will be interesting to see. And he's going for it. Off the backhand. Looks tight. Uh, he's just, to use a north word, he's hung a bit of it. I don't think I like that. Uh, so, chance going a big in there. It's a pretty big target for Scott, and just to pull it tight. At this stage in the competition, at this stage of the game, it's, it's he'll not be happy. He'll be kicking himself. But game's not over until 21 shots up in the scoreboard. Derek Oliver currently on 18. Scott Spears on seven. Games we've seen so far this this weekend. Derek will be looking to close this out as soon as possible. He just needs the three more shots. As we all know, three shots possibility of four in on the one end and open bowl. I will not be too disappointed the way it's been going. Still shining down here on the off-field Saturday of the Championship yeah, weekend. the story of Scott's afternoon being he's just been inconsistent with his weight. And got Derek just stuck into the same uh, same line all afternoon and he's paying dividends now and I think it's we're really hoping to force Scott onto the forehand but Good reply there from Scott. Just comes up, takes the jack through to lie one shot. Derek this time looking to get under, but he's not. Uh, he's, but it won't wasted. Won't be wasted back there. So can allow him to have a wee go in his uh, inside the room with his last bolt. Looking to move inside of this one. Uh, Touch the jack. For what to be doing? No, he's not bad. That's not bad. That's a good result there. I think Derek will obviously go for this one, but you see a change of hand again. It's two balls there, but you try and turn the two of them out. And take one more shot over on that scoreboard. It's obviously still plugging away. In some good balls. As you see here, it's not been far away, Derek, and he's, he's hitting them. I think he'll be up. Positive. Mm, not so sure, he's, oh, he's like not it. bad. He's, oh, oh wow, it's going to go off the side this time, I think. Is it? No, it's still on. Chocks the ball. I think. Ah, well that's just the. Just the one, I think. Derek. Sure, if it's still hanging on, is it? Yep. Scott, Scott. No, I'll be two there. Oh, no, it does look one, but. 
umpire signaling one, but it looks like two at the side. But I think Derek will be happy with the result. It's mm. two shots down, and he's given Scott a, it's got a bit of a headache here trying to draw this. I don't know what the line's going to be like, you don't know what the weight's going to be. Nobody's really been out on that high grass. Be difficult. He's opted to play the forehand down to it, and it looks very good. Okay, he's good. That's Takes the one. Very well played from Scott Spears there. Moves on to 18-9. Sorry, 18-8. length of jack again. Right on the two metre line. His mark must be slightly out from the two metre marker at the far end of the green. Marker just straining it up for him. As we've seen earlier on, players go down, they tend to relax and play some better balls. Scott certainly in that last end, two really good balls and third ball to draw the shot. Very, very good opener again from Scott. Was one just short of the jack. <laughs> Bad news filtering through for you, oh, Mike. Oh, painful, painful. Connor and Michael going down after our next round. Haven't heard the story of it yet, but uh, they'll be disappointed with that finish again. It's a difficult one to take, especially mm -hmm. at this stage, one to get to the Sunday, to the, the last day of the championships. They're both young, they'll be back. Good players, have got plenty of quality. Scott will be disappointed. Scott will to find the line, but he's just going to drop that one down a yard short. So. It's not giving Derek something to think about, but he's in a, he's in a better line this time. Doing pretty good. He's trying very hard here. Yeah, uh, it's the winner. Maybe Scott with a bit of a headache now. We have to play the backhand that they haven't been playing. I don't know what it's going to do. He's looking for a bit of weight this time, I think. <laughs> Derek questioning this here. Just wanting to be drawn down. He's line one. We want to put the pressure on Scott here. Whether he can chap and lie the ball for two, whether it will bend on there, I don't uh, think with that weight. It's a brave call and lose that to the back, I think. Yep. Scott's close, but is he going to get half the bone away? Yeah, he does. That's a cracker. Makes a three out of that. Yep. Very, very good shot from Scott. Leaves uh, Derek a bit of thinking. He's been pretty good at this uh, conversion shots this afternoon, but he doesn't want to give away uh, easy threes at this stage. Close to the area. Oh, he's just going under, but no change, I think, maybe. I'm not sure if he takes a back one out or not, but. Maybe just slightly under the seven. Under the weight there. Scott Siglin for three. He'll be more than happy to get to double figures and trying to push on with the, the length of Jackie's been enjoying so far. Last couple of ends, he's been, certainly been the better player in the drawing game. Two 
two out and a umpire called. If you are just joining us, we are live here at National Centre for Bowling and Air. Currently on rink number two. Yeah, it's Gents quarter final. The singles between Scott Spears from the Blacklands Bowling Club in North Ayrshire. Against Derek Oliver from Kensington, Port Seaton and East Lothian. Derek currently with the upper hand. 18-10. Scott measuring for one shot. Go for 18-11. He's currently two out of this in this end here. Plenty of other games on the go still around the complex and tomorrow we'll come back to do it again. Semi-finals starting at half past nine and then in the afternoon followed on the finals. There'll be live scoring for all finals on, on the Bowl Scotland website as well as Live streaming in the morning and in the afternoon. As the umpire turns Scott's ball out for a three. Moves it on to 18 11. Starting to get interesting now. Yes, uh, Scott, I'm beginning to think he's just creeping back into this game. Um, he went three ends there without scoring, but that's a, a positive move with a three. But this end still, every end is going to be big for Scott. Remember next year that we move to uh, play starting on Monday to the Saturday, uh, normally for every year it's been Tuesday starting with the seniors and mixed pairs right through the conclusion of the Sunday but we've moved it to uh, Monday 24th of July to the, the Saturday finishing the 29th so I guess there'll be a few eyebrows raised but personally living north of Aberdeen um, good to get a, a day's bowling Saturday without having to worry about shooting up the road for Sunday maybe work back to Monday, so yeah. possibly that will work in a lot of people's favours because people come from far and near yeah. to this event. And um, hopefully that will be a success, and we'll see how that goes for the if this following year. So. Certainly sounds like it's something different, and in, in people can they can play on a Saturday, they can play on a Sunday. It shouldn't really matter to the, no. the players. They say as people travel far and well, wide. Certainly, if you're booking hotels and things, make sure you change your dates before you you leave the the area. This uh, this week. Back to the game and uh, Scott just dropping in behind uh, Derek's first ball there. Good reply here from Derek, we can get that just bend getting, at the end. Just now getting back there though. Close for the first shot. Marker there signaling for. A measure he's not going to call that. Especially at this stage in the match. I think Scott will be quite happy there. I think his ball's kind of locked in um, between the first two balls of Derek, which means that the risk of losing a three is not be good, so he can afford to play shots that he might have thought twice about. Just pulling up short there. Surprising from Derek. He's been guaranteeing his ball so far. Small chance for Scott, but it's very difficult to draw in another one into this head. He'd just be looking to keep the the end winning ticking over. He's won the last two ends. Looking to win a third in a row. Whether he's lying or not remains to be seen. But want to Scott sure. just has to make sure he doesn't give away any gifts here. That hand holds a bit and if he's in the back of, the back of Derek, it won't take much to definitely give one to Derek, but if he thinks he's one down, he'll be attacking us a wee bit more. Let's get this right. He yeah, that's the one, that's the shot he had to play there, he played it perfect. An absolutely great result, could have made three out of that. This maybe third end in a row, he's been lying three. In blink of an eye, he could be right back into this match. See, there's a few ends, Scott's been lying twos and threes, he's drawn game and he's chapping live shots, it's been absolutely superb, it's just Derek's Derek's hitting. Well, it's Derek's now being forced onto the the forehand, but Liddy has to write good go at it and try and bend the white, but it might be the easier the two shots, but I think you might want to just try and find good weight, but that might be easier said than done. Needs to stop. Ah, just got it. Yeah, that's a good result. To lose a one there was uh, acceptable. Eighteen twelve now to Derek Scott looking to go one better than his his female counterpart, Michelle Cooper, knocked out of the quarter final stage in the ladies singles, also from Blacklands. 
you know, succumb to the might of Lorna Smith, who's going for yet another Scottish singles title. And Scott puts his jack. Well, Lorna's probably got one of the best records there is in the, the, the national finals. I don't know if anybody's got anyone better, but four finals out there. Yeah. The last four finals, three three in a row, and lost them last year. Back into the semi-finals again tomorrow morning. It's, it's a very, very tough record to beat. So consistent on these greens here at North Field and very, very difficult to overcome. Derek will just be looking to shorten this track length slightly. And Scott dropped his into the into the ditch. Shouldn't let that get to him and just play the game he's been playing. Only six behind now. It's eleven behind a couple of ends ago. Mm, Scott's not too bad, just to pull up a couple of feet short, but just allowing Derek maybe the wee bit of room that he needs. Yeah, he's just absolutely ideal at this stage. Slip past nicely. I'd be delighted with that. When you know your opponent only needs three, it's a must try and score all the way in until at least 15, 16 to, to give you any chance. You don't want to be losing any more shots, especially easy shots that a yard or two shorts. So. He needs to just up the pace a wee bit, this Scott. Derek's found a good line with his first one. I think he's replicated it with his second. He's absolutely perfect, yeah. That's just the time when he needed for that, too. The kind of quality you need well, to, to work Scott's the Scottish maybe go for it. It's very close. Uh, will he get back in that hand? I'm not so sure, but that's enough to give him a bit of breathing space. Derek will be looking just to put back in again. Put the pressure right back on Scott. Slightly higher this time, whether he'll get that bend right back to it. I think he's just overweight this time, so it might be just a. But, uh, Still lying the one. He could be tempted by the. by the backhand with his last ball and see what. Uh, down to the fight, but. Scott needs to make sure he doesn't do any more damage. Maybe half and. Jack and Bowles, not going to be a good result. Just looking to chap and lie, just to sit. Spring the jack's not going to be good though. Derek obviously with the last bowl as well. Have that in the back of his head. Slightly tight here from Scott. Just, just under it. So that's his own turning in, but... Oh, well, that's not going to be any easier for... Derek, who must be tempted by the forehand. Tended with the forehand with the jack, we trail for the match. I think this could be looking upon as a good chance. He could even. He could almost attack it if he wanted, if he was so brave, but. You look at it without much trepidation because of the way that Scott's three balls are sitting short of the head. Was his line one? Yeah, he'll be confident at this. I think he'll probably attack us. He's going to be into it. This looks as if he's. No, he's just played it with it. Mm hmm. That, uh, that hand was never going to accept that kind of weight, I don't think. But uh, they'll be happy to move on to the 19 number. Takes his first shot for four ends and stops the, stops the rot. Scott scoring. Moves on to 19-12 and within two shots of a, a semi-final place. Players quite candidly discussing what's going on. Good to see those talking through their games. Great respect out there for each other, obviously, to get to this stage. It's, it's not easy. And they went to the 20th end, I think it is, thereabouts, is it 20 ends? And 20 ends in a singles game. Decent yeah, amount. Derek just drawn up short. Again, giving Scott a good chance here. I 
And he's taken full advantage this time. Now played. Good for the opening ball. This is just not quite reaching the head either, so there's a another door opens for Scott. Looking to capitalise fully on this. Just looking to drift round the two short balls of Derek. You can do that, put another ball in. Does add a wee bit of pressure. Derek's no, he's just going to push it this time and move a bit uh, overzealous there. Unusual to see Derek with three short balls there. He'll be disappointed with that. Another chance for Scott. If he can get this one in. It does put added pressure on the fourth ball of Derek, and knowing that he could lose a two or a three. See the uh, shadows begin to lengthen across the green. Must make it awkward for rings five and six over there. As a lot of imprints of bushes and things to contend with. Difficult forehand shot from Scott. The both players tend to be avoiding that side. Maybe slightly heavier over there. Scott just pulls up a yard shot. Has to be line one. Well, Derek sticks to the backhand, tries to promote one of his own, or plays the forehand down for the chap and line yeah, shot. I think this time he'll move on to the forehand. And uh, but then again. Depends how it looks from that angle. It may just, yep. yeah, just not want to get down possibly. But I certainly played it short the way I could see it, but it looked like easier to two. Scott will be looking to take full advantage and draw another one in. Has a couple of feet. He won't. Uh, he won't get a better chance. To add, to add another, and I think he's pushed the weight. He's got the draw and fall down there, but I'm not so sure. It's only the one. Shot to, to Scott Spears, mm -hmm. 1913 now to Derek Oliver. Derek now been on 18 or 19 for the last six ends. Wonder if that will start to, to play in his mind slightly that he just can't quite get towards the 20, 21. Scott just pulling him back, pulling him back. Yeah. He doesn't do an awful lot wrong though. I think he's still just uh, playing within himself and I think he's still quite confident of getting to 21. But sometimes time runs out and uh, the lead disappears fast. Especially in outdoor but bowls. The you can just lose the weight slightly. And yeah, again, Scott just not quite putting the pressure enough on Derek. It, he's been catching this forehand pretty well. I could imagine Pepper on the jack again. Yeah, just a, a foot or so past. He'll be happy with that. It's good enough opener. Scott will to just add a couple of feet. Go down. He's throwing it. He's on a good line. Is he running far enough though? I think he's just drawn it fully four feet short again. It's a big opportunity this time for Derek Oliver. He can get this second ball inside the Scots too. And he just needs to slow up, he's perfect. Just to slow up in the back of the air. Exactly the same ball as his first. Line two and for the first time line game. Pressure on Scott's last two balls here. Well he's running after this one so it's a good sign for Scott. Looks good. But he needs to run a wee bit yet. Mm. No. Frustration there. And he hasn't made that uh, shot any easier. Terrick will take the slow walk up to the far end of the green. Knowing that he's lying, possibly game. He needs to run, he's thrown a slack one there. Just to Maybe just play that one a bit quick. I think. Derek will take his time, stay down. Scott knows he has to draw this one in. I 
the big ball here to keep himself in the Scottish Singles Championships. As he just has to drift by his own and nudge one of them up. And he goes. Yeah, we twist of the heads. Not so sure if he's just pushed this one. It's got to be good weight this thing. He is good weight. It's very well done from yeah. Scott Spears. That's very good. Saves the match. Saves Derek the match. will be ruining that third ball. It just didn't put enough uh, enough pressure on Scott there. He had every chance just to tidy the jack up a wee bit, but I'm sure he's got another chance to redeem himself. He's got the opportunity here just to turn Scott two times off the backhand. Again for for two again. Yep. Sam stays there. Seems to like it. Don't know if he's thrown this one. No, well, just enough for the one. Yep. One shot to, to Derek and moves off 19 and on to 20. It was a super bowl he played there with another turn he was in for the game, but. I think he was making sure of the line more on the weight, to be honest. Two very good balls under pressure from both players. And just that last ball proving key. When in the last end, obviously, Scott trying to come back into the game, but Derek having the, the last word. Moving on to 20. And knows he's within one shot now. First ball here will be absolutely crucial. Derek will be looking to get within a foot. Not a bad opener this one. Yeah, just again, just a foot or so short. Happy enough for that at the moment. Sometimes see when you get to 20, the pull we'll short. He wants to try and force uh, Scott into this hand because they just kind of been catching line or weight in this one, but he's got half the white which helps. But I think uh, Derek will just stick to playing away in the same hand. Yep. Hello. Mm, it's close for the. The shot here, Scott will be looking to slightly wider and draw and guarantee himself a shot. He's eight without reply to qualify through for the semi final. Did it come on 20? It's a better, uh, better, better, better there, but still a better room, these guys. Playing a difficult hand. It's looking good from deck. Just well, swing away though. Angles. It will be just one to score at the moment. Effort here from Scott. Yeah, I'm drifting enough for two, but as I say, that hand's really tricky, so the, the two looks better than it is. But if you just get the right line, right weight, should drift inside that. A big chance here for Derek then. Last ball of the end. He's hoping to make it his last of the match and draw in for one. The one shot that he needs to qualify for the semi finals. Full hand draw. Better line than his last ball. Better weight than his last ball. It's an absolute great shot from Derek oh, Oliver. He's in for the shot and for the match. Scott got the save at this time again. Second end in a row. Scott going up knowing that he's game down. Playing with the weight that makes sure, so he's going to make sure he's, he's getting by the front one though. 
No, he's not. And I'm afraid that's the end of that. Bowling definitely by Scott, but just coming up uh, second best in the day. He's 21 13. Finish for, for Derek, and I'm just going to head out into the concourse to, to grab a word with the, the victorious man. We're playing tomorrow's semi final at half past nine against the winner of Mount Vernon in Collington. We'll leave you in the capable hands of Mike Many. Well, that was an enjoyable match, as I say. Derek was just forging ahead there, and Scott did well to come back into it, but uh, I think the, the gap was made early on, going from 5-3 uh, right up to the 17-7 was just too much to bear, and uh, at the end of the day it came up uh, short in his quest for a place in the semi-final, but I'm sure that uh, Derek Oliver will push on and uh, have a semi-final to look forward to tomorrow morning. Here crowds are beginning to mingle away a wee bit, the, the last knock-ins on Green A. Um, as you see, the, still a beautiful night. Not quite sure what games are still continuing in the, on the outdoor rinks. And again, a lady singles and a couple of gents singles. As far as District 3 goes, we've got West Hill to look forward to tomorrow morning at half past nine. Um, They've had a, a good run again this year, same, well, slightly different flow from last year, but they've put a guest to semi final tomorrow morning and hopefully they can do the North well. well there was a, another North match, uh, Katie Brewster versus Abba Shudder. Haven't had the result through for the triples, but again, there'll be a, another North representative uh, being on the show tomorrow morning in the semi finals. Paul Faster is, uh, was currently ahead 13-7 and uh, he will look to bring his Troon Portland team again into the semi-finals and surely that will grow, grow a bit of uh, crowd tomorrow morning. So that's all for me today in this uh, match. I'd just like to hand over now to Paul with an interview for the, the winning player, Derek Oliver. Thank you very much. Good night. Derek, Scottish semi finalist, congratulations. How Cheers. do you feel? Uh, magic. Uh, delighted to make it to the last day. Uh, just hope I can go on and win it now. And with the conditions out there this afternoon, the wind looked to be playing a wee bit of havoc, yeah. but you, both players you seem to settle down, but you managed to get there 21 13. Good yeah. victory. Yeah, it was tough. The wind was blowing right into your face and catching your balls. You're losing them sometimes, but. Uh, managed to go over the line. So. How far can you go? Do you think you can go all the way and lift that trophy tomorrow? Hopefully. <laughs> and what's the, the experience obviously down here playing in the, the Blue Ribbon event and the singles? It's obviously a dream for, for every bowler across the country. How does it feel to be in the, the final four? Oh, it's probably it's the one everyone wants to win. So it's my first uh, attempt at the singles, so hopefully I can do it the first attempt, my first attempt. So well, very best of luck to you tomorrow yes. and, and I hope you can go all the way and pass Cheers. it back to Mike Meaning in the studio.